what makes you more successful what as qualities and capabilities you need to it is not well paid Why some people in the industry are paid a lot more software testing automation skills is another very very important aspect but you are not learning hey everyone welcome back so i'm coming with very very important topic and important aspect that i want to discuss today for anyone who is looking to start their career to software testing or is already into software testing so the topic is what makes you more successful as compared to other testers and SDETs that are out there in the organization what qualities and capabilities you need to build so that you will be more successful paid much more as compared to your peers now there is a big myth into the software testing industry that it is not well paid and in the majority of the cases that might be true and responsibility lies with yourself if you're not paid well you your skill set or you are not proactive enough to learn new things and that is why you are not well paid so important aspect i'll break it down into a couple of points so that it becomes a real crystal clear what will make you or what will make your future shine into software testing industry so the first and foremost thing why some people in the industry are paid a lot more the first and foremost thing is that they are vocal okay they have the skill set most of the people have the skill set you have automation knowledge you have domain knowledge you have all the required skill sets that are required to do, do the job but there are people who do not hesitate to ask questions clarify interact with the team members peers with the senior members with stakeholders and obviously they'll be getting edge over the people who are quietly sitting there and doing their job so it's in terms of skill set you might be at the same level but then if you are more vocal you ask question you are proactive and you go and clarify things that will make you more capable first thing it will clarify your doubts if there are any right and then it will make you more efficient in that particular domain in the project because you are gathering and gaining knowledge while you are working there so be vocal asking question whether it's you know communication whether verbal or written is very very important factor the first very important factor that i have seen in my career and that what this is what i have i was not doing in initial career phases right so initial phase and that's where i struggle now once you start doing it your learning capability your grasping capability capability will increase as well because you are asking questions somebody is explaining you will grasp more about that particular domain you will get more knowledge rather than just studying from the book quietly sitting there doing your project work work and coming back right that's the first and foremost important thing the next very very important thing skill set obviously now the first point i mentioned is because you say for example you both have the good skill set level but you you are not vocal and somebody else is vocal that person is going to obviously talk more and do better in the interviews because they are practicing on the conversation skill and they'll be able to explain better as compared to a person who is not speaking too much the next thing is very important aspect is the skill set now many people who are underpaid and keep binging and binging and complaining the problem is with your skill set you have started doing your job say for example 5 7 years ago okay or 2 years ago it doesn't matter and then in last 2 years you're just doing you're just documenting you know test cases executing writing test plan just sticking to that particular domain and the tools that are being used in the project what if that project is over will you be able to grasp new tool new capabilities what is your day to day learning okay are you spending 15 20 minutes 30 minutes every day reading blogs watching somebody's um videos tutorials tips and tricks over the youtube right are you utilizing that particular time in a proper way 20 30 minutes every day in your learning skills right whether it's your communication whether it's your technical tool anything it should be in a positive way rather than just watching and scrolling through the random reels okay that's the next very very important factor is your skill set so in your skill set what all you need to learn in order to excel the first and foremost thing is your software testing basics how it is being applied or how it will be applied in your project 
Okay, that's the very important basic aspect that you need to know. Then the documentation a- a- aspect, right? So writing test cases, test plan, etc. So that that's another very important aspect. There is a lot more, but then yes, basics of software test testing along with the tools. There are a lot of other things. For example, SQL, Linux, just basics will do your exposure. Say, for example, you just want to expand on that knowledge base. Then if you know a little bit of Linux commands, commands, you will be able to expand on that. But if you don't know anything, then it will be an absolute new learning in a new project, right? So keep spending time on learning the things that might not be required immediately in the project, but are required for you to become a good software tester. Your backend skills like SQL queries, right? Then automation, very, very important aspect. Are you able to do UI automation using some of the open source tools or not? For example, Selenium and Java, okay? So if you are able to at least set up your dev environment using Selenium Java and write some of the test cases to drive the browser and do some actions that will give you a lot more confidence to keep learning or building that automation journey skill. Okay, so basic of software testing automation skills is another very, very important aspect that will make your salary at least you know, double. Now, just with the man, if you just go and say, I'm a manual tester, nobody in the current market scenario will give you that much package as compared to a person who can do both if required, right? Now, testing is testing. It's just, just the segregation that manual and automation has been done. But eventually, you will be doing testing, whether you are writing automated scripts to do some of the test execution for some of the regression test or some of the progression test or you are doing it manually if the scenario or the flow is really complex then some scenarios you might be doing manual execution that's the segregation about manual and automation actually you are just doing testing that's the second very important point that makes a person excel more into the career and earn a lot more okay now the third very very important tip is first thing is you are proactive second thing your skill set right and third thing is that whenever you are not learning any new thing in a project okay straight away start thinking about moving out from that project okay whether it's your organization whether it's your project if you are working for any of the service-based organizations who have multiple projects and in a particular project you have learned whatever is there and there is not much learning that you are gaining in each and every day so make sure if that's the case start looking for another project ask release and start looking for another project so that you can learn a new domain new technology and if you're in early phases of your career try to learn as much as you can you know in terms of domain in terms of technology tools if you stick to just one project just one company doing similar sort of work five years down the line you will be so behind with the latest trends and technologies that are going ahead in the market that you will require a lot of effort and time to learn to bring yourself to the level where the current market sits okay so technology is something and, and testing is core technology right it's it's not something wherein where people have a feeling that you know software testing is nothing you just click 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 and it's all that right it's not like that so technology evolves every day if you're a tester or developer you have to make sure you're learning as a habit if you're stuck in a particular domain and not able to learn much make a move change the job change the project if you are stuck in a particular position and not able to learn much in that particular project or so project so that's the third very important aspect that will ensure that you are more successful as compared to people who are not doing these sort of things right so communication asking question very important even though two people will have the same skill set level a person who asks question communicates more talks more will be more successful in the project as well as in the new interviews right in in new organization second thing is your skill set if you haven't have the if there is a skill gap make sure you learn it keep learning third is if you are stuck in a particular project wherein your learning stops that is the trigger point you should be looking for alternative project or changing the organization okay so these are the three important points that i wanted to discuss i hope these points will help all of you to embed these things in your 
day-to-day -day activities and excel in your careers. So do comment what you feel about these points and some of the more points that you might think of and I'll make sure that I'll give a shout out to the other points as well and your experiences if you are there in the industry. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching.